Welcome back <laughs> in today's cooking corner. We are keeping it fresh for spring. Market District Chef Crystal Baldwin is here with recipes that make the most of the season and perfect for holiday gatherings. Crystal, what are we making today? So we are going to make a strawberry and rhubarb full. Okay. Because I like dessert first, as you know. I, I'm fine <laughs> I can that. That I can't That's help myself. It's, it's an English dessert. <laughs> it is. Right? It's an English dessert. And, and I'm such a little kid that anything sweet is going to be before anything else. We're in. But yeah. I will eat my dinner, so we don't have to worry. Okay. <laughs> I have um, asparagus. I have a roasted asparagus uh, dish that we're going to do. It's all spring. It's just everything that comes it up looks, in spring right now. So yeah. that's what we're doing. I want to start with our pea salad, though. Okay, great. Okay. So I have some spring onions that I've been cooking. I just wanted them to get softened, okay? And then I have some English peas. So English peas, peas are a spring item. They come up early, mm -hmm. you know, they'll bolt, uh, you know, later on. So I'm gonna take and add them in. They're already cooked, so what I did was I blanched them in a little bit of salted water and then took them out after about two to three minutes because we don't want army green peas, okay? Uh -huh. We just want really nice, <laughs> fresh, good-looking peas. You're looking at me like, well, what's wrong with that? I have, to, <laughs> I have to admit, peas remind me so much of sitting at the dinner table and not being able to get up until I finish them. Oh, oh really? I, I, love know. Peas. I know. They remind and me of my grandma. It's oh, such a sad Ramona. thing when you see something like that. I but know. honest, this is going to be good. They so. remind me of my mom yelling at me, you're not leaving this table until <clears> you <throat> finish those We're going to create new pea new memories. Peas. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, really simple. And that, that happens with a lot of people. A lot right. of people overcook vegetables, do some things, and then people just won't touch it. But you mm -hmm. should always try and try again because your taste buds are always strong. I would never say such a thing. <laughs> and mommy, you know I would never say such a thing. My mom is always right. <laughs> so, I have some microgreens. So in my microgreens, there's pea shoots. There's lots of really uh, neat things. Radishes in there. You could do pea shoots. So Market District has this whole line of um, microgreens. And they're pretty, but they taste really good. They give a lot of flavor. So I'm just going to take and stir those I'm there. excited about this because I had never until this morning heard of microgreens. Really? Heather told me this and I was like, what are you talking about? You know when you go to the <laughs> restaurant and then they have this garnish on there and you're going like, what is oh, that? What, what right. are, why do I have That's that That's microgreens. There? Okay, yeah. Okay. But it's really good. So it's, it can be any sort of vegetable that the tops are, are edible and especially when they're young. So you may see microgreens in terms of lettuce, but pea shoots are awesome when they can get a little bit bigger and they have these beautiful tendrils. And then you can take and um, stir fry them. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite things. Look how simple wow. that so is. Really and it's simple, so pretty. really it's easy, so really pretty, really great for spring because it's yeah. starting to get warm. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Asparagus. So I took mm. asparagus and some of um, our market district oil and I salt and pepper roasted in on a high oven, 450. Okay. So that's what we have there. But then we're going to poach an egg, okay? So, and make a little dressing to go on. Okay. So I have a pot that's already at the simmer, and I had poached some eggs already. But it's really easy to poach an egg. It has a little is bit it? of salt in it. It is. I'm I feel like I, I'm, so, okay. I'm so afraid of even okay. trying. Water there. Okay. See, it's just barely at a simmer. Okay. 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 So then I'm going to take and give it a little stir, okay? Pour my egg in. And you just pour it in. And then I'm just going to... Walk away it's and wait neat. For a it's moment. like a science experiment. In a way, it is. It really, it's fun you know? to watch. So. so, okay, so with hard boiling eggs, there's I, we have found with our stove, with mm -hmm. the, there's a perfect time. The the water has to be just right. So, is there yeah. something like that with poaching eggs? So it is. I keep my heat on medium. Okay. You know, you watch to see if it comes up to the simmer, and then you just don't want it at a full rolling boil. Okay. Because okay. what's going to happen is it's going to get tough. It's not going to be particularly yummy. So you just want to be careful in terms of that. Just have it there. Three minutes later, mm -hmm. you're going to have a really nice egg. Oh, that is. Wow. But we're going to make a little dressing to go with it. Okay. So I have Meyer lemon, Meyer lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take and put a little oil, olive oil in there. Okay. We're going to just give that a little swirl around, right? We're going to take our eggs and we're going to slide them off into our asparagus. Okay. I was about to say here. And you, you just have like four I have four eggs. eggs. I have four poached eggs. It depends on how many people you're having. It's about a pound and a half of that's asparagus pretty. that's there. This is great. This is very impressive already. So you throw that on there. Then give this a little stir. What I love about these recipes too is it, they're easy, but they look right. impressive. They look that's impressive. exactly yeah. it. So a little bit of dressing to now go on there. So it gives us a little is. bit of tartness. So olive oil and Meyer lemon juice. 
olive oil, Meyer lemon juice, and this is cheese. You could use um, a Parmesan uh, Reggiano. You could use a, 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 um, yeah, a Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's Meyer lemon zest in there. Yum. Okay, so. I'm ready for dessert. Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> She's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> you see this in the beginning yeah. of dessert. <laughs> All right, so, you're gonna put us to work with this. I am. Right? Okay. This is whipped cream, okay, and mm -hmm. it has mascarpone cheese in it. And I always add that, um, and it gives a little richness, okay, a bit of vanilla bean. Vanilla bean, okay. okay. So we're gonna take and stir that. Okay. And then you I have. I could just eat that just like that. <laughs> I know, I know. If we just um, turned around, I was thinking, how much time do we have? I know, I want to turn around and be like, knock that off. So I have some. Uh, rhubarb that I cooked down with a little bit of sugar and water. Okay. So rhubarb has a lot of water, so if you did a little splash in there, cover it. So we start with the rhubarb. Let it cook it. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're going to take and throw a little rhubarb in. I'm going to little cup. a little touch of juice in. Okay. Throw a little more in there. Throw oh, more. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to take it away from you. You were another side for There's another, there. There's another spoon in there, too. I'm going to give you a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Okay. You throw that in there. Uh oh, I'm knocking take... down your display. It's okay. <laughs> this is a good steak, okay? It's like you want dessert. You know, we'll stop at nothing to get some dessert. It's true. So go ahead and throw a little whipped cream I, on I'm top. I'm going to be invited back into the kitchen. <laughs> Always. Everybody's welcome in the kitchen. Thank you, Chef. It's a place to be fun. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed this. Did you make your own whipped cream? I did. Okay. And it, is it hard to make your own whipped it's cream? It's not, although <laughs> one of my cooks in the kitchen, I was showing uh -oh. them how to make, it's okay to make a mess. I was showing him how to make <laughs> whipped cream. I'm knocked down stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him how to make whipped cream and he was like, my arm is tired. I was like, just keep whipping, uh, you keep whipping. It's a good workout. So it is, it is a good workout. So then you just layered a little bit more. Okay. More whipped cream, just make mm -hmm. it, so it's kind of like a parfait it's, in a way. Uh, it is a parfait, okay? Perfect. And I'll top you off with a little bit more whipped oh, cream. Yeah. That looks so good. Right, you guys give it a one. taste, okay? Okay, so rhubarb, strawberry, and the mascarpone whipped cream. This is mm -hmm. a nice, easy thing to do for Sunday dinner. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Oh, good. I understand so that this is a great dessert. <laughs> cool. All right. So good. Well, for a copy of today's recipes, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. And thank you, Crystal, for being here. We always oh. have fun. I promise not to knock down your stuff next time. <laughs> yeah. can, you, can you promise that? I don't know if you can, David. <laughs> we also want to thank the Market District for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here on PTL.